So welcome back to a brand new episode of Walking and Talking with Tim. So my guest today is Tyler Ardrin. I say that name and I think to myself, did I say that right, Tyler? <laughs> you actually did, Tim. Most people so, don't, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Tyler Ardrin, who is the vice president and partner at Risk Reduction Plus Insurance. So we'll get into that and what that's all about. But first, um, but wait, there's more. So, <laughs> so, so Risk Reduction was born out of SmartVent, right? And SmartVent is a company that's also located, actually you guys just moved. So you're now in? Mount Royal, New Jersey. Mount Royal, and what's that? I forget what that building was. Yeah, so it used to be a uh, old school. Um, we actually moved there in December. Right. Um, it was an old school in Mount Royal, an elementary school. And then a company was there um, who we purchased it from, um, who had it outfitted and everything as an office building. Um, they, they had uh, some stuff, I guess, going on through COVID. And then, you know, we took the building over in December. Um, and it's right in East Greenwich, right near the MRI, if you're familiar with the area. That's right. Um, super, you know, super great area. Uh, and it's only five minutes from my house now, which is awesome. <laughs> right. Yeah. I thought we were going to get shaken out there. <laughs> that's, like, that's a nice car, by the way. <laughs> that's, a, that's a classic. Yeah. So, so smart vent obviously makes um, a very specific product. It's, it's yep. actually your, 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 it's an invention, right? Yep. So, and this invention is to help, you know, keep your houses from flooding, right? So it's my understanding, if I get this right, tell me. <laughs> so, so this is like, it's almost like a little, like a little window yep. so that when your, when your basement or your crawl space is filling up with water, right? It triggers and it says, oh, I'm filling up and it opens up and lets the water out either into another chamber or outside, correct? So pretty close, but <laughs> let's, uh, let me go into it. So, um, yeah, so our smart vent, it's called a foundation flood opening. Um, <laughs> most tried. of you have never, <laughs> most of you have never heard about it's it. It's not bad for an amateur. <laughs> it, he was close. So um, basically what happens is it's a requirement when you're building a house in flood zones that you have uh, foundation flood openings. Um, our smart vent was the first engineered opening. And basically what happens is when it floods, water uh, brings hydrostatic pressure. And that water can push up on the foundation and it could collapse the foundation. It knocked the house over basically, right? This is crazy. And what the vents do is they, just like you said, Tim, they open up, but they allow the water to pass through. Right. So what that does is it equalizes the pressure on both sides of the wall so that it doesn't, you know, collapse. collapse right. Yeah. And that's why, you know, they're required in flood zones. And um, so that is what led you into the insurance business, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so they're required in new construction. We wanted to get into the retrofit market. So, you know, people with existing houses, there's thousands of them out there, right? <laughs> and we wanted to sell vents to them. Right. And what these vents do and how we were planned to do that was through showing them that it saves them off of their flood insurance because these vents save right. people off their flood insurance. So what we did at first and what I started doing with Smart Vent was showing insurance agents this is how much you'll save, your clients will save on their flood insurance if they install our flood insurance. It's like if you have an alarm on your car, you get a better price on your car insurance. Exactly. Yep, exactly. So what we learned though was insurance agents don't know anything about flood insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I had to educate them and flood zones. out there had to educate them on it. So, you know, what we said was, why don't we open up our own insurance agency? We opened up our insurance brokerage risk reduction plus in 2014. Um, Which you headed up. Yep, so we specialize in flood insurance. At first, that's all we did. Right. We did such a great job that people were like, can you do my homeowners? Like they were asking me to do their business. <laughs> um, at first, I didn't, if you know a little bit. Like, no, 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 I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah, so, but what I learned was it's hard to get appointments through carriers. So like Travelers or MetLife, you might be familiar with. Right. Um, they won't give you an appointment uh, to sell their product unless you have a book of business. Right, right, right. So what I had to do was build the flood business and then I was able to start offering all these other carriers. So now, you know, we're full-fledged brokerage, flood insurance, homeowners insurance, auto insurance, general liability, all that, you know, all that good stuff. Right. And your family, you're, you've all got businesses going on. So your mom is a realtor. She's got Romano Realty, right? Yeah. And um, your dad, you said, has like a, is it a construction business? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's going on with all that? I mean, <laughs> yeah, you had a lot yeah. going on, man. Yeah. So, um, I'm very, your I'm brother's very, a realtor. I mean, yeah. So I'm very fortunate. My mom's been a realtor for 25 years 
And I've always had that entrepreneurial mindset, like my family. Uh, my mom, Gina Romano, she opened up Romano I see Realty. your mom all the time. Gina, you're crushing it with them videos. <laughs> she is, she is. And um, she opened up Romano Realty now, I wanna say two or three years ago, but she's been a realtor for 15, 20 years. Um, she opened up Romano Realty, going after that boutique market, yep. um, right in Mulca Hill, that's our focus. Um, and then my brother, who's now a realtor too, he's yep. been a realtor for going on two years. Luke. He's, yep, he's doing a lot of videos too. You've probably seen him on social media. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> um, and he's doing great too. Uh, he's ki he killed it last year, it was his first full year. He's doing marketing for them, um, as well as you know normal real estate. I was gonna say, he's selling stuff. I see it all going up on the internet. Yep, yeah, he's selling, selling a lot of stuff too. Yep. Uh, my dad, he uh, has a construction company does a lot of GC type work, um, roofs, uh, not so much roofs anymore, decks, finished basements, bathrooms, yeah. you know, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I've always had that like entrepreneurial mindset um, yeah. of just going out and getting it, right? So like my mom, even as a normal realtor, you have that that mindset of like, I gotta go and get business. <laughs> right. Uh, my dad as a GC, he's owned his own <laughs> company now for 20 years. I gotta go and find that work. Um, so I've always, had that mindset and you know that was my goal to open a company now i'm a partner with risk reduction plus my two other partners um and yeah it's you know it's kind of and like you're busy as hell right yeah yeah you gotta be but i wouldn't want it any other way of course um i love moving i love you know i love growing growing the company it's it's awesome and your family of course let's go right dig 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 right down now right yeah, yeah. so you've got um three kids yep 12 what, the other two yeah, ages? So 12, two, and like one? a month. <laughs> like <laughs> a month. Yeah. Not even one. Not even one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, my I have my beautiful wife. So, you're busy. I am. Really busy. I am. But I'm very fortunate that my wife, um, who, who I've been married to now since 2018. Which you told me you met at Xfinity Live. <laughs> we did. We after did. the Flyers game. So, we actually met each other at the bar and it worked out. So, a lot of people say, don't meet your wife at a bar. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> I did too. Actually, you were after a Flyers game. I was at Chi Chi's and uh, we met. In Deffert? I, in Deffert. I love that place. I love that place. <laughs> Monday Night Football. Absolutely. There you go. So, yeah, I, I you know, we met back in 2013. Um, and then we got married uh, in 2018. You're a huge sports fan. Huge for sports fan. But I'm, I'm very fortunate that my wife allows me to work as hard as I can. Like, I, you know, this week I have three events at night. Um, yeah, you're crushing the events right now. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm only able to do that because my wife is home, you know. Because she's tolerant. She, she, yeah. And she's home holding the house down, you know, for, the, for us and the kids. Tolerance and compromise. Yeah. It works. Have one or both or don't get married. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's going great now. And then I have the two-year-old, three sons, 12-year-olds um, in sports. So I'm all over the place with that. My two-year-old is, you know, a madman running all around and playing. And then the month-old, he, you know, he kind of chills and eats and poops and does that stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what most month-year-old, one-month-year-olds do. But you love to play golf. I do. Yeah. That's so. your, that's your, is that your Zen place or is there something else? Yeah, I mean, I say golf is up there. I, I don't get out as much as I'd like just because the kids and work and all that stuff. I try to get out, you know, with clients and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I'd say my Zen place is also the gym. Um, I'm in there every single morning. If you're following me on social media, you probably <laughs> see my videos. 5 a.m. Yeah, you probably see 5 my videos. 5 a.m. <laughs> of me jump roping and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm in there every every morning. I haven't missed a day since the, the jump February. roping. The jump roping is imp impressive, by the way. I, <laughs> I get a lot of people that reach out about that. I don't think actually. I I don't think I said it right. I'm gonna try one more time. The jump roping <laughs> is impressive, by the way, because if you gotta you gotta watch him. He looks like Rocky. It's, it's going like a million miles an hour. Yeah. So that, I, that's my place. Like I I haven't missed a day since beginning of February, um, and I don't. If I do miss a day, which I haven't, I don't know what it's like, but I know it would drive me crazy. So I just, you know, I go every single day and it's been awesome. So the thing that you did tell me uh, while we were walking around is that the thing you liked the most beyond all the stuff you just talked about was hanging with your family and your kids. Yep. Yeah. So I try to, um, from an event standpoint, I try to do two to three nights a week and I got that from Dev, right? In right. the harvest. Yeah. Um, I try to keep it to that. Shout out to Dev. Shout out to Dev. Um, I try to keep it to that because family time's important. Um, they're the only other people I'm with, you know, when I'm outside of work and I'll, they'll be, I'll be with them forever, hopefully. Right. So, um, family's huge to me. I'm with my, I was with my mom every Sunday. We go to her house for dinner. Um, 
we were there yesterday and then I don't spend time with the kids. I'm fortunate to where um, I had my 12 year old when I was young. Yeah. So that sped by, right? I went through my twenties with the kid, <laughs> it sped by. But that was a good thing in my head because I saw how fast it went. And now like with my sons, my younger sons, like I get home and I play with them the whole night. You're taking because, advantage of every minute. Yeah, because I took- Cause you get it. I took for granted when I was younger that and now I, I you know I saw that and it's a big focus of mine that I want to you know I want to spend as much time as I can with them so so being the entrepreneur that you are having been coached in the coaching community and you kind of get all that good stuff that you know you got to surround yourself with good people and people they're gonna you know keep you in check yep. right check you on accountability check you on you know hey man are you really doing what you said you were gonna do yep. right all that good stuff what advice would you give to young entrepreneurs that want to blaze out kind of like you did? Because you didn't just do it out of thin air, right? I mean, right. You, you started somewhere and worked your way up and went, you know what? We're going to try to do this, right? Yep. Yeah, I'd say, um, I'd say don't be afraid to take the chance, which you hear all the time, right? That's right. But you got to take the risk. Like, um, there's just so many sayings where if you don't take that risk, like you're, not, you're never going to fail, but you're never going to get to that win. Right. Um, and the biggest thing is taking that risk. Like if I, so while I, you're young. Yeah. 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 Like I was at PNC, I was a branch manager. I was the youngest branch manager, um, that, you know, that they had for the most part. And if I didn't take a risk and take a chance on going on an interview that I didn't even need a job for, I wouldn't <laughs> have been here. Right. So I've never been afraid to take that risk and take that chance. Um, like in anything, but that, that's the biggest thing is you got to take that jump and, um, you can't be afraid to take that risk, especially when you're young, like you said, Tim, because you have the time you have nothing to, to lose when you're yeah, young. You have the time to do it. Like take that chance and God, you'll look back for 10 years thanking yourself. And now people are chomping at the bit just to come to your coffee excursions. I mean, yeah, you know, you, you, if you haven't checked it out, Tyler's got these great coffee events that he sets up and it's just basically uh, essential networking. You know, it's uh, it's basic stuff and it's a fun it's, it's laid back, it's easy going, so check that out, you know? And if folks wanna get a hold of you to talk about um, Risk Reduction Plus or Smart Vent or anything else, how do they get a hold of you? Yeah, so um, you can look me, I'm all over social media. Um, <laughs> my Facebook, E. Tyler Ardrin, um, Instagram, E. Ardrin, uh, also my business page, Risk Reduction Plus group, um, and then, uh, yeah, I'd say my website, www.riskreductionplus.com. Uh, but i say the easiest way, just look me up on Facebook, shoot me a message, and um, I'll get right back to you. There you go. Well, thanks for being on. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me, Tim. I appreciate it. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody out there, you guys, keep on moving, keep on walking, and we will see you next time on Walking and Talking with Tim.